Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the second lecture of JAL uh, View. Uh, in this lecture, we'll talk about editing coloring uh, using uh, JAL View. Of course, you can import your sequence, and we will see uh, many methods uh, that uh, enable you to uh, 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 import your sequence for alignment. Uh, this will include, of course, drag and drop, paste, or even uh, visiting a URL. Uh, with gel view you can decorate your sequence with reference annotation uh, of course you can create uh, an alignment and build shading conservation analysis analysis you can build a tree p uh, principal component analysis capabilities and many other good features that you will see inside a gel uh, view in this lecture we should know how to fetch dna references for your sequence how to set feature setting how to change the view how to use gel view to edit your multiple sequence alignment to even introduce or removing gaps and of uh, some other useful feature of gel view also we'll see how to navigate in, uh, in gel view using cursor mode or even a normal mode and different ways to load your sequence uh, insert your alignment image into your uh, document for publication gel view project file and even you will see how to select edit explore and save regions in your uh, alignment of course, we know already the job view can work in your computer with a desktop version. Also, we now know that multiple sequence alignment, there is many multiple sequence alignment algorithm in gel view. So we, today we'll, we'll focus only in the uh, multiple sequence alignment capabilities inside gel view because it's actually the program have many other good features for uh, uh, scientist. So, uh, why we call Jal View with this name? Simply because it's, it's a Java applet. So, Jal means Java, uh, AL means alignment, and View means viewer. So, it's a Java alignment viewer. For, so, it's a good for multiple sequence alignment to view and edit and analysis uh, tool. Also, it can run uh, in different platform as we already said in Macintosh, in Linux, in Windows and other things. Uh, it can deal with many uh, numbers uh, of, uh, uh, of sequences, hundreds of sequences or even thousands of sequences uh, with minimal degradation uh, performance. Uh, and you can load uh, uh, your sequence in many formats including uh, uh, FASTA format, cluster, MSF or even PEER. Uh, the, the next two slides is only about the history of Jal View. You can see that the Jal View have been developed uh, in 1996 uh, in University of Oxford, and then uh, you can take a look at the, the progress of this uh, development. And of course, all the credits now goes to the University of Dundee for hosting the Jal View uh, website and for developing more. Uh, capabilities of Jal View. Of course, citing Jal View, uh, the UK, if you use Jal View, you have to cite it in your uh, publication. So uh, you can put this uh, two uh, references. So uh, if you will use Jal View in your uh, publication to produce result, of course, for you. When you open Jal View, you will just the startup is you can you will see as example project. In this example project, you will see few uh, proteins that will be aligned for you, and you can see uh, this will you will see different features uh, in Jal View. So uh, this example will be open automatically, and then you can see many different features, uh, key features in uh, Jal View. This, of course, including will be see alignment, annotation, structure with the J mall session or trees or even uh, different things. Uh, in the web service, in general view, this is a very important menu because you can fetch database references. So you, you have many references, you have many databases, you can fetch your references uh, from these databases. So you, you can go, if you have sequences and you don't have any uh, references, you can just uh, go to the menu web service and fetch uh, references and choose the database to fetch references from. After fetching the references, you will see uh, something like this. When you put the mouse over any uh, over any sequence, you can see uh, that many a lot of 
annotations and a lot of information will appear to you from each uh, sequence if this is okay with you uh, it's okay if you if this bother you if this bother you you can just from the view window you can click show annotation or even not uh, or uncheck this uh, annotation show annotation or not if you want to show it you just keep the it's okay but if not you can uncheck show annotation of course it try to make automatic scrolling if you if you it's okay with you to use automatic scrolling uh, if you if not you can uncheck it and uh, uh, and see uh, with the other way uh, the the good thing in 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 in, in, uh, in Jal view is in this menu in the view menu is a feature setting. Feature setting is very important and one of the things that I love in Jal view because you can see many things in the feature setting with different colors. For example, if you have a uh, protein sequences, you can color each each feature with different color. For example, the signal peptide. Uh, can give it a, a color different from the chain, from the glycosylation site, from the disulfide bond, splice variant, helix, strand, turn. Each each feature of this feature, uh, or each feature of them uh, can be colored with different color. And even you can uncheck any of this feature and choose one of them only to, to show where exactly in your sequence that feature is. And so this will help you to, uh, to to produce your result in the way you want in the color you want. Even you can set uh, the color or change it uh, whenever you uh, need. Uh, like this, if if we just for example uh, remove the chain color, so he will show everything, uh, if all the features except the chain. Um, and of course, uh, this is very good thing to uh, to do um, in your sequence to show your uh, result. In the format, uh, in the format menu, you can usually choose wrap. So instead of seeing the your sequence uh, very long, and you can just scroll uh, back and forth, you can see it in just. Uh, one under the others under the other so uh, if you want to see it in that way so you can use uh, the order wrap so you can open format menu and choose uh, wrap also uh, in the view menu also there is two important things to show uh, if you would like to see uh, the sequencing ID tool tab you can show the data uh, based reference or not if it bother you you can check or uncheck uh, this okay now I will go to the other part which is using Jal view to edit uh, your multiple sequence uh, online because of course we said that because editing a multiple sequence alignment is so complicated biologists have to develop text editor that are specific to multiple sequence alignment if you use any other program like word document or something to edit your alignment actually you will uh, have a lot of problems and this will uh, uh, will be very difficult to use Okay, but, but you, that's why we this kind of uh, programs have been developed to be able to edit your multiple sequence alignment without having a uh, problem. Okay, now uh, if you would, if you install, uh, if you uh, upload some of your sequences, uh, you will go to uh, and uh, you would like to uh, uh, do some perform some multiple sequence alignment with it. How to install? How to uh, how to upload your sequence? Uploading your sequence is very simple. So you have many ways actually. You can open the file uh, menu and say input alignment. You can input it from a uh, file if you have a file like a, a text file with your alignment or you can import it from URL or you can import it from text box. Text box mean when you press in text box you can copy and paste your sequence uh, in the text box that will be open when you press uh, text box. Anyway, uh, when you have your sequence sequences already uh, uploaded in the program you can uh, reorder your sequences uh, you can uh, keep the order as it is or you can uh, reorder it 
one of the things that help you to reorder is in the in the calculate menu you can auto calculate uh, you can sort your uh, your uh, uh, sequence by ID or by lens or by group or by, by uh, bare white identity or even by MSA ordering if you write sort uh, by MSA ordering so your result will appear as is in the same order that you uploaded your sequence with so if you want to keep the same order that you already upload uh, your sequence uh, with so there is many ways to sort uh, your uh, result of sequences sequence ordering is simple of course you can do it by other way by highlighting the sequence to be moved uh, uh, also you can reorder with, with head uh, instead of uh, using this sort option you can using by uh, using the uh, your head just uh, you can click on your uh, any sequence and just move the arrows up and down and you can uh, order uh, your sequence in the order you uh, want this small exercise is uh, you for you to uh, to use in your own time just to see how can you order sequence uh, uh, by using uh, arrows and see how can we use easily the arrow keys uh, to reorder the uh, sequence and uh, you can will see that using the arrows you can simply uh, move uh, sequences from this position to this position only by using the arrow uh, key uh, also uh, when we you, you use you, after after lining uh, and reordering your sequences uh, actually you can use the web service to use alignment as we said before you have many good aligner programs to use you have tcafe probcons muscle maft and uh, msa probs and gl probs and others and cluster of course so uh, you have you can have it the pro this pro use this program with the default with default setting uh, so uh, it will be the same like the website also in this program it allow you to run tcafe with preset setting so it will be much quicker so this is a preset setting also you have another option with uh, that you can change the setting yourself if you are uh, if you are an expert and you know what you are doing exactly so you can change the setting and use the uh, edit setting and run so you can change the setting of this uh, program all this can be found in the web service alignment and then uh, change with the setting as we can see now but when you change the setting you will have something like this and uh, and of course you use your experience and uh, and this uh, and, and choose what what you exactly need of course this is beyond this course so uh, but this is an ability in in gel view that you not only using the default setting but also you can change uh, the setting what you want and the coloring scheme actually as we will see later that the, the cluster the the gel view have many uh, uh, coloring scheme including cluster x and this is one of the uh, one of the good coloring scheme that i prefer to use but so I'm, I'm, I'm understandable for everybody but if uh, if you want to use other coloring scheme there is many other coloring scheme as we will see later in the lecture one of the good things in JAL view uh, when you're presenting your multiple sequence alignment in is, is hiding region or presenting some region uh, and hiding others uh, so you can actually uh, emphasize in what you would like to show to the editor uh, to the to, to other people for example if you would like to, to show other people only the conserved part only the active domain only the active site um, so in this regard so you will hide other region and keep your uh, special segment of your sequence so you need to use the options for hiding regions a uh, hiding region as we said is exclude some of the sequences without actually deleting them so you can exclude uh, some sequence but you will not uh, delete it of course this facilities uh, is, uh, is is good to be used to create several different views of course uh, in the example alignment file 
we will see how to uh, uh, to uh, do this and how to hide region uh, uh, and how to not hide region to, to for example if you would like hide to, to hide a set of sequences you can simply uh, uh, click uh, you can uh, select them first and then uh, select uh, you can right click and choose hide sequences so by this way you will hide sequences uh, so and then uh, like this you can uh, see that you select some sequences number one number five number six whatever you can choose whatever sequence you want and then choose the option uh, hide sequence if you write if you take this of course these sequences will be hidden but if you press in the blue rect uh, triangle here, if you press in the true, true, uh, true, uh, blue triangle uh, and say and press on the reveal all, okay, this this hidden sequences will come up again. This is the way to hide sequences. Also, you can hide column. You can also select columns and so and then right click and then choose heading to hide columns and the same thing uh, if if you see a blue triangle you also if you uh, check this blue triangle you can uh, bring it back again like this so you can uh, choose a few columns and then uh, you can right click and say um, and press on uh, hide columns uh, if you would like to reveal you will see a blue triangle here if you just uh, uh, right click on this blue triangle and and press on reveal this uh, uh, this few columns will appear again so now this is the two methods to hide columns and hide uh, sequence okay you can uh, also view uh, only a small part and hide other things including columns and incl include uh, uh, sequences so if you would like to uh, select a special region in this special region you would like only to show that so and hide any other uh, other uh, um, other uh, sequences and columns other than this uh, selected region so you can simply do what you can simply uh, click on the region that you would like to uh, uh, to show only and then uh, right click on the view in the view from the view menu choose uh, hide and then from the hide uh, from the hide option you can choose all but selected region and it's simply you can do this by shift control and h shift control and uh, the letter x h if you press this it will hide everything except the selected region this is a very good feature uh, in this program uh, so and uh, we use it many times just to show a specific part uh, of your sequence that include sequence and include columns only very specific region of your sequence uh, and of course if you would like to reveal it again as we said before in the blue triangle you can uh, right click on the blue, blue, uh, blue triangle and then press reveal uh, this is uh, the the way to do that you so you it's, it's only very easy you can choose the uh, your yeah, the part you would like to show and then uh, just right click uh, open the view window and select uh, from the hide option you can see uh, all but selected region of course uh, by hiding some region this will help you to uh, easily uh, see a specific part and show uh, some other uh, and, and hide other uh, parts that is not needed so you can even actually by doing this you can uh, have parts in your alignment that would like to be aligned properly by by doing this you can align uh, some parts uh, and exclude other parts in your uh, sequences uh, when you do this and do the alignment you will have your results like this as a segment if you if you choose parts so actually this will make your alignment as different segment like this uh, so uh, as you see that every segment of your uh, sequence every few uh, column of your sequence have been aligned independently
So each one, each few column, when we do the hydrogen between within your sequence, uh, as the arrow shows, so actually the, the, the alignment happen independent, uh, independently uh, with, within these sequences. As you see, this part have been uh, aligned independently from this one, from this one, from this one. So it's like sectioning your uh, alignment. It's like sectioning your alignment and your sequence so you can see each one each part aligned independently from the other uh, one why we need to do that of course this is if you uh, you are satisfied with uh, if you are satisfied with uh, the alignment of, of, of part of your uh, of the sequences hiding it will preserve it while other regions are optimized this is one of the good uh, reasons for doing it. The other reason is if you are interested only in a small part of your, of the alignment, hiding the rest will allow you to align only the local visible uh, region. Also, uh, the third reason for doing hiding alignment is hiding regions acts as a boundaries, imposing constraints in the multiple sequence uh, alignment. These are three good reasons for doing this uh, hiding tip. Uh, representing uh, a group with a single uh, sequence actually this is a good thing to do if you would like to put a name of, of a group of sequence and put an ID uh, and you would like to uh, this sequences to represent uh, something uh, so after so it's very simple you can uh, see this by the coming example you can take uh, the selection what you would like to select uh, any part any group of sequences and then right click and, and take uh, and, and choose selection and from selection uh, option you can take edit group and then you can choose edit name and description of the current group so uh, you can say as we said choose a group of sequences and put a name for this group of sequence you can name it whatever name you want so you can identify this group of sequences from the others so you can remember what this will mean you can also introduce or remove gaps simply by uh, using uh, 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 entering uh, by pressing uh, by the keyboard so you can uh, of course this uh, very easy to do you can just press uh, dragging residues with the mouse when shift or control and you can uh, add gaps or even remove gaps from the uh, your uh, alignment of course if you move to any part you can uh, uh, cut or even add with your uh, with, the, with the keyboard you can add more sequences you can add more letters you can delete uh, it will move the, the only the, the sequence that you edit will be only uh, changed but not the others so that's why it's a very easy to do that with your uh, for the multiple sequence alignment you can easily choose a small part for example and say uh, edit choose edit from the menu and then cut or copy or edit or, or whatever uh, you can do uh, with your sequence this is a very simple way to remove or add gaps to your sequence uh, of course, unlocked editing, this is another thing you can do, that this is a very good option if you would not would like, don't want to change the, the alignment, so uh, and do different things without changing the alignment, this is called locked editing, and uh, this is very uh, useful, uh, you can uh, of course reach this from the edit menu. Uh, some other f uh, features, useful feature, of course, uh, including this will include calculate uh, consensus. This you can found in the calculate menu. Uh, you can uh, auto calculate consensus. This will allow you to see the consensus of your uh, uh, sequences. And this is a very good feature also to see which is which part is preserved, which part is conserved, and which part is not uh, conserved. Uh, removing redundancy, this may make sure that no pair of sequences is more than X percent similar. So if you would like to remove redundancy, this can be found, this option can be found in the edit menu. Uh, from the edit menu, you can go to remove redundancy option and, and this will allow you to uh, uh, remove any redundancy from your uh, sequence. 
Oh, as we said, of course, calculate tree, uh, and there is many different algorithm uh, in, in the in, in, to make a phylogenetic tree. Well, this, of course, the differences between all of them uh, will be uh, will be. You will understand the differences between them, of course, in the next module. But uh, in this module, we only show you that uh, Jalview can produce uh, a tree for you and can calculate the tree for you using your multiple sequence uh, alignment. This is a practical, and your practical, you can uh, try to uh, open the PFAM accession, this accession number, and try to uh, to see. Uh, and, and use it in the, uh, in the, the, in the program and try to uh, follow these steps 